fall is here and it is the perfect time to show off your creativity in your decor so you can definitely impress your friends and family. Yeah, our good friend and lifestyle expert Liz Bouchong joins us now to show us how to put one together. Thank you so much for coming in. This is Thanks so beautiful. Thank you. This so, is gorgeous. Yes. Tell us yes. a little bit about this and the inspiration and, and really okay. where you started. I started with the copper penny. Okay. Because I thought this is kind of a neat idea. I love polished things and copper, the pennies was just perfect. I thought, okay, well, I've got a copper planter. I'll make an arrangement out of that. And what else can I do with the pennies? Oh, I could probably glue them around a charger. So that's what I did. Mm -hmm. And then I made a band for around the can candle canister using uh, the pennies too. But I have to tell you, I cleaned and polished over 450 pennies. Are oh, you kidding wow. me? Wow. Isn't that funny? What did you use to polish them? $4.50. Cents. Right, yeah. Oh, um, I soaked them <laughs> first in um, white vinegar. Okay. And then I took baking soda and a little uh, t-shirt and rubbed each one. Each one So it's just kind of a relaxing little thing. I just got my little penny out, just scrub both sides. Relaxing for some yeah. people. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and then they were nice and shiny when you were done with they them? They were nice and shiny. Some were not so not so shiny, so I, yeah. I discarded those. That's mm -hmm. why you buy a little uh, extra, so, you know, you because you want to have that. And then you just hot glue them onto your charger. I did paint the charger co um, copper first, spray painted it, let mm -hmm. it dry really well. Okay. And these will pop off. So, you know, if you want, want to retain your charger, you can, because the glue and the penny eventually will come off. Sure, yeah. Yes. Okay, and then mm -hmm. let's talk about the pears. The, the pears. Napkins. And this is, yeah, well, all fresh just, ingredients, it's right? It's all fresh. It's from my yard, except for the pears, and those are all, those are real also. And um, I wanted to do something copper again to repeat what I had in the place setting. So the back of the magnolia leaves are kind of a coppery color. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. I thought, oh, I'll just fill this whole copper container with oasis, which is what you use for fresh flowers. Mm -hmm. It's wet, and this is very heavy when you lift it. Yeah. Um, and then I just started with the magnolia leaf. These are small magnolia leaves, and I just cut bunches, like five or six in a little clump. And, and inserted throughout the whole arrangement first. Mm -hmm. Then I inserted my little hydrangea, which is from a hydrangea bush. These are already starting to dry, which means you can leave this arrangement out, probably change out the pears before you'll change out anything else. Yeah. So this will last through, you know, a month or so. Do you probably. have um, a sponge, a green sponge in here? So yes. you water it every day. Okay. Yes, yes. It's, it's oasis. And you oasis, soak your okay. oasis before mm -hmm. you make your arrangements. Mm -hmm. You use styrofoam for dry flowers, you use oasis for wet flowers. Okay. I and you can sure buy what that it's at called. Yes, I've it's seen called it. <laughs> green oasis or oasis. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then around these you have little cute. acorns. Yes. Well that is a napkin ring that I made a couple of years ago and uh, okay. it's on elastic. And you just drill holes in your little acorns and uh, run the elastic through there. You can stretch it out if you want to, but it will fit as a napkin holder. Oh my gosh, it's that a cute is little so napkin cool. Ring. That's really cute. Yeah, and and Brittany alluded to this earlier, but you've got the pear. And is this like a little? Um, oh look, <gasps> it has my it name on it. on it. Yes. Oh my gosh. Place setting. That is adorable, Liz. <laughs> yeah. So you know you're going to use your dinner, your coffee cup for coffee, and mm -hmm. you've got a napkin holder, and then you can have a little place setting using the. Um, the magnolia, magnolia leaf? Magnolia leaf, yes. Mm -hmm. That is so There's my cool. place setting. <laughs> I love that it. Fun? It is adorable, Liz. Yes. yes. So maybe start mm. with um, inspiration like a like a penny and then go from there. And wow. go from there. Amazing. Or, or you could start with the plate, too. The plate has a lot of inspiration because it has leaves. It has the acorns in it. So one thing leads to another. And yeah. it's fantastic. Kind of run with it. Liz, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. You're and welcome. for more inspiration, LizBouchong.com.